In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to draw the four types of lines used when creating sketches. Now there's four types of lines that can be used. Those are construction, object, hidden, and center. We're going to draw our lines here on the grid paper in quadrant number one. So, for a construction line, I'm going to make a line that's very thin, kind of hard to see compared to other lines. The idea is that my line should be something that, at a distance, it should be a struggle to see, it's easy to erase. We mainly use construction lines to help sketch other pieces of our sketch. Eventually, all construction lines would be erased. The second type of line, an object line, is going to look just like a construction line, but this is going to be thick, solid, easy to see. And you can see the difference in the thin versus thick line. This is an object, this is what we want to see at the end, this will be erased at the end of the sketch. The next type of line is going to be a hidden line. Now for hidden lines, I'm just going to draw a series of dashed lines. Hidden lines are typically used when there is something that we know is there, but it is not directly visible in our view. The fourth type of line is a center line. Now this one's a little odd, because I'm going to draw in a series of long and short alternating each one as I go along. Center lines are used to mark openings, uh, circles for example, that would be in a sketch. Now, to show how these might be used, we're going to take a look at this block here. And this block is really a block with a hole through the center, but we're going to sketch it as if we're from the side. So, to do this sketch, I'm going to use uh, a roughly 5x5 five five grid. So, to do this, I'm going to start, and I'm just going to go ahead and outline. And since I can see the edge, I'm going to draw using an object line. Now, how you go about sketching them is entirely up to you. There is no order that is required. It's the type of lines that are important. Now that I've got this, I want to draw and represent that hole. But I can't see the hole from this side. So to do that, I'm going to estimate the size of the hole as being about one square onto my sheet. And I'm going to draw some hidden lines to mark where that hole is at. Now once I've done that, I want to show that this is a hole, that there is an opening that goes through. So for that, I'm going to draw the center of the hole using our center line, which means an alternating long and short. Now typically, we will draw this extending out a little bit. to mark that there is an opening that goes all the way through the block. This is how we would use the object, hidden, and construction lines to create a sketch.